Today I've released iOS 16 beta 1 for developers and the most exciting change in this update is the new lock screen. In this video I'm going to show you each and every new change in iOS 16 lock screen starting from customizing the clock, choosing a different background, add filters, effects and more. This is the first time to see Apple going that far when it comes to customizations, so let's find out what's new. To use iOS 16 lock screen, it has tons of new features, customizations, and visual changes. And the first thing is the new face ID animation. As you see here, when I lock the device and then try to unlock it, the face ID padlock icon will animate and then fades away. And then you can swipe up to unlock the phone. Change number two is definitely the number of customizations you can do now on the lock screen. To, uh, to access the customization mode, just tap and hold on the lock screen like this, and this is the screen you will get. You can create multiple lock screens, so let's start by creating a new one to show you what's new. So let's tap on the plus sign to see what we have here. First, you will get a carousel at the top to choose what type of photos you want to add to your lock screen. So here you have people, and this one will take you right away to your photos app. And if you have more than one person in your gallery, you can choose that person or you can simply use the search. So for example, I'm going to type my name and choose this photo as my lock screen. As you see, it will create this depth of field effect. So I'm actually on the front and my head is appearing on top of the clock and other information. But if you take a look here, you will see a three dots or an ellipsis button that will allow you to disable this depth effect. And by this, the information is now showing on the front. So I will enable it back again. And also there is something called disable or enable perspective zoom, which is something I'm going to talk about later. The second thing you can do is to swipe to the left and right to add different effects and the phone will automatically isolate the background from the subject so everything will change but the subject will remain the same. And this is the black and white design as you see here it looks gorgeous. Also the clock font and uh, the date will change to match the style and this will happen automatically. But you still can change the clock font yourself if you want by tapping on it and then you will get this card at the bottom of the screen. It will show you six different fonts and also tons of colors to choose from. So I'm going to choose this uh, style for the font and also change the color. And in some cases when you tap on the color you will get this slider to make it darker or lighter. And at the end of the list you will get this uh, custom color. A button tapping on it will give you more than one option here you have the grid in addition to adjusting the opacity here you have a spectrum and finally you can add or put the rgb numbers yourself if you have a custom color on top of this you can tap the globe sign at the top left corner and you will get three options here the first one is arabic which is the default you have arabic indic and finally the vinagre and this is how it looks so let's get back to Arabic and see what else we can do. You can also modify the top pro by tapping on it. And here it will give you more than one widget to add next to the date. The date is something mandatory that will always show in the top row, but you can add one extra widget next to it. Only one, you cannot add more. So for example, if I added the weather, this is how it looks. You can also add your fitness information. Uh, you have things from calendar, the upcoming events. Uh, the alarms uh, from your clock app, the reminders, the stocks and the weather app will give you tons of options here like the sun events for example and so on and so forth. The third row will also allow you to add more widgets to your lock screen but they have a different style, they have bigger size and show more information. You have stuff from batteries, calendar, clock, fitness, home, news, reminders, stocks and weather. So let's start with the, with the weather and here you have the air quality, the weather conditions, moon events, rain, sun events, temperature, UV index and finally the wind. Let's take a look here at stocks. You have only two options here. Next you have reminders. It will only give you one widget and next you have news. Then you have home and here you have things like indoor climate. Uh, another one for climate but smaller here you have lights and the switches security and another one for security but smaller and home summary 
then we have fitness and you will get only one option for now then we have the clock you have the option to add a different city or the time for a different city and multiple cities if you choose the world clock here you have the next alarm uh, another analog clock for a city as well and this is a digital one but it has a smaller design then we have calendar here you can add your upcoming events and also today's date uh, next we have the batteries and for now I have the Apple watch battery widget so I can start by adding this one to the lock screen and as you see here once added it will automatically position the widget and then you have a minus sign if you want to remove it let's add on top of this another one like for example the weather and I'm going to also add my fitness information and that's pretty much it and this is how my lock screen looks now you can definitely reposition the image to avoid any distractions like in this case so I'm going to make it bigger and then move it down and by this the information will be clear and we have even more as I mentioned before when you swipe left or right you can change the filter and the name of the filter will be written here at the bottom the first one is new natural the second one is a studio you have black and white and finally color backdrop in the other filters when you tap on the ellipses button you will get even more customization options so in the case of the color backdrop you can change the color of the backdrop you have here plenty of options and a slider to make the color lighter or darker like this for example when it comes to the black and white you have the option to choose between high key or low key and also the same thing for the studio you have high key and low key lastly if you want to change the image you have a quick shortcut here at the bottom left corner that will take you back to the photos app so you can change the image if you want once you are happy with the changes you can tap on done at the top right corner and then it will be saved in your lock screen gallery as you see here once i'm done with the customizations a new focus button appeared on top of all the lock screens i have Tapping on it will allow you to link this lock screen to a specific focus mode. So I'm going to link this one to personal and then dismiss the card. Once I activate this lock screen and then unlock the device, you will see here the personal focus mode has been activated automatically. You can also choose which lock screen to link to your focus mode by going to settings and then focus. And inside you have here two options, one for the lock screen and one for the home screen. And when you tap on the edit button next to the lock screen, it will first give you three suggested wallpapers for this focus mode specifically. And when you scroll down, you can see your gallery at the bottom. So let's go back to the lock screen to show you even more. I can either customize the one I already have or I can simply create a new one. So let's try to create a new one. The second option I have in the carousel is called photos, which is exactly the same thing I showed you. But instead of choosing people, you can choose a specific photo. Here we have something called photo shuffle. And in this case, you can select multiple photos and the phone will switch between them. So you can tap and hold and then choose select and then scroll down, choose another one. And here is another one and so on. And when you tap on add, it will shuffle the photos for you and you have here a button called tap to shuffle so you can see how the shuffle will take place so you can see the style on each photo before deciding which one to choose and in this case you will see a new button at the bottom left corner tapping on it will show you the selected photos in the previous step you can then tap on select to remove any of them if you want or you can simply add new photos by tapping on add photos here at the bottom left corner and it will open the photos app again in the photos shuffle option tapping on the ellipses will give you a new menu item here called shuffle frequency and here you can choose to change it daily hourly on wake or on tap so if you choose on tap every time you tap your lock screen it will keep switching between the photos so let's move on to the next option which is called emoji and here you can create a wallpaper from the emojis you can choose up to six emojis so here is the emoji keyboard so let's try to add six different emojis here like this so these are six emojis and as you see the wallpaper uh, has a mix between the six emojis uh, tapping on the ellipses button will allow you to change the background color here you have some uh, predefined colors or you can also choose one from the palette or create one yourself 
so I'm going to choose a different color maybe this one and then you can also change the style this one is called small grid you can make it medium grid larger grid we have here rings and finally spiral and at any time you can change the set of emojis by tapping on the emoji button here at the bottom left corner and delete or modify whatever you want and you will see live changes here on the lock screen let's tap on cancel to see the next option which is weather and this one will simply animate your lock screen based on the weather conditions so if there is rain wind or anything like that your lock screen will animate similar to the weather app the next option we have is called astronomy and here we have multiple options the first one is earth which will show you the globe swiping left will take you to earth detail and this one will request access to your location when you activate it for the first time because it will focus on the area where are you located and next we have moon moon detail and finally the solar system as you see here in this category we don't have any customization options for the background itself like we have seen in the other categories but what i like here is the new animation you get when you choose the moon or earth wallpapers so for example i'm going to choose this one tap on done then i will unlock the device now it's showing the globe in night mode because this is the current time in my location which is night uh, also when you get back to the lock screen it will now match the home screen and you will also see this nice zoom out effect when you unlock the phone so let me show you this one more time so this is how it looks last but not least the last option we have is called color and as the name suggests you will get a set of colors to choose from but you will also get this nice gradient at the top with each color you choose so as you see here this area will always be in a different color and then you can use the slider to change the intensity so these are all the manual options you get to customize the look of your lock screen but there is even more the phone will automatically create some uh, wallpapers for you including the widgets with their own styles as well so here you have some widgets already added to the lock screen so you don't need to do anything so if you want to save time you can choose from these ones they are also categorized under weather and astronomy uh, emoji collection and finally color but you still can customize the automatically created ones if you want like this one for example you can change the wallpaper you have some options here to enable or disable and that's pretty much it you can also add extra widgets and this is how it looks apple also announced a new feature called live activities which will show you live updates on your lock screen from websites and third-party apps like for example uber ride updates and also the game scores on your lock screen but unfortunately the feature is not yet active on my device so i'm not going to be able to show it on camera but this is what apple showed us in the keynote and i'm really excited to see this feature in action the last thing i'm going to cover in this video is how the notifications appear now on the lock screen so here is a message i received from the messages app and as you see it shows at the bottom if i want to hide this message i can simply swipe down and it will show me how many new notifications i have it will not show all the notifications in your notification center but it will only show the number of new notifications that you didn't see yet and if you want to see all the notifications you can swipe up from the bottom of the screen and as you see it has a new animation uh, that we didn't see before and then you can minimize everything and hide the new ones as well another thing i noticed when you tap and hold on the notification banner the corners will become more rounded like this and when you play media the media controls will also appear at the bottom of the screen for easier access and i really like this new approach so these are all the new changes on ios 16 lock screen which is i'm a big fan of especially the repositioning of the media controls and the notifications at the bottom of the screen which will make them easier to reach the ability to add widgets to provide you with useful information without the need to unlock the device and finally the new depth effect that isolates the subject from the background and gives you the option to choose a different background color makes the whole lock screen looks great so please let me know in the comments what do you think about the new lock screen do you like it or you have a different opinion but for now thank you so much for watching i hope you like my video and if you do please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos thank you for watching